and happy holidays, everyone. Uh, my name is Su Kang, a program manager for the International Winter Campus Program at Korea University and the MC of today's ceremony. Uh, it's been quite warm here until yesterday, but today it's freezing with temperatures dipping to minus 10 degrees. So before I start, I must say thank you all of you here for joining us in such early morning and plus freezing cold weather. Um, in the welcome bag that you got from the front desk, there is a hot pad and it will warm you up for all day long. And plus in the bag there are lots of materials such as a note and a pen and a map and brochures. Among them, please make sure to read the plagiarism guide and understand the regulations. Uh, plus, make sure to sign the, uh, sign the student code of conduct in the plagiarism guide and turn them in uh, student 101 supporting center in this building. Uh, then you will get a student card. In KU student, you don't need a, a student uh, ID card. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, let's gear up for the program orientation. On the screen, you can check today's agenda, and this is also indicated on the student guidebook page five. Uh, for the part one, student orientation will run from 9.10 to 10.25. It is divided into two sessions, which is, will be a presentation delivered from the IWC, uh, Center for Gender Equality, and subsequently a presentation delivered from IWC for covering all the detailed information that you need to know during the program period. When all the oral presentation is over, you may proceed class for period one for an hour today. And after that, the part, uh, part two of today's ceremony, which is welcome luncheon, will be held at sixth floor at this building. During the luncheon, you will enjoy the buffet. And in the meantime, we will introduce our dean of IWC, professors, and staffs. Last but not least, we will briefly introduce you guys the schedule for the extracurricular activities field trips, and Instagram event. This will be fun and it will start from 11.40. So please be on time and all of your cooperation will be much appreciated. That will be the prog progression of today's events. We will now start the orientation. Uh, so I kindly ask you to check your mobile phones and make sure them that they're off. Okay, thank you. Okay, you ready? Okay, so first of all, we'll uh, have Ms. Jungmin Ngo on the floor. She is the director for Center for Gender Equality, and she will talk about the role of the center and effort for the prevention of sexual harassment and abuse on campus. Uh, let's welcome Ms. Ngo on the stage with a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Korea University. I appreciate you all students attending this orientation. This is my pleasure to be here today. My name is Chung Min No. I am a psychologist and working as a counselor at the Center for Gender Equality since 2004. Hi. <laughs> I'm here to introduce you our center and I want you to know about our school regulation governing gender equality at Korea University. The president of any university in Korea has a legal obligation to prevent sexual and gender-based harassment, also discriminations on campus. All universities are obligated by law to carry out an annual prevention education on sexual and gender-based harassment, also discriminations on campus. This orientation aims to inform you how to deal with the sexual and gender-based harassment, also discriminations on campus, and whom to contact. Here is the order of orientation. First of all, I will tell you about code of conduct gender policy according to our school regulation. And then I will show you a short video clips about the definition of sexual harassment and sexual violence. After that, I will inform you about the Center for Gender Equality. I think uh, I had this green brochure out in the package, which you already gotten, I think. Please check it if you have one in the package. I think you should have one. 
Otherwise, you could pick up at the center for gender, gender equality. In this brochure, there are some very useful information which you might need it during your stay here. So please keep this while you are registered at Korea University. Korea University has codes of conduct gender policy. The code principle is Korea University does not discriminate against the students, faculty, or staff based on sex in any of its programs or activities, including but not limited to educational programs, employment, and admission. Korea University also complies with regulations that protect individuals from discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation as well as on the basis of gender identity. All students, faculty, and staff at Korea University should ensure that women and men have equal rights and development opportunities at the university. Here are our code of conduct gender policy. The policy number one, the interest of both genders must be optimally served at all levels and in all functions. This includes equal representation as well as due consideration of any specific gender interest in all working contexts. The policy number two, nobody may suffer negative consequences due to their sex, gender identity, or gender transition. The Code of Conduct Gender Policy number three, each individual's dignity and integrity must be in respected. Sexual and gender-based harassment and discrimination are a violation of human dignity. Policy number four, at the university, written and spoken language should express equal treatment of women and men while maintaining precision and elegance. Korea University has a set of regulations to ensure protection against the sexual harassment and sexual violence. Here is the definition. I want you to show you the uh, short video clips to make sure about the definition of sexual harassment and sexual violence. Harassment refers to any action that takes place in a work, employment, or academic setting in which a person takes advantage of his or her status to use sexual words or actions that make the addressee feel disgusted or sexual humiliation. Punishing or causing disadvantages when the addressee refuses to follow such sexual actions or requests also falls under sexual harassment. Therefore, sexual harassment is not simply sexual mocking, but a sexual tormenting or insult that reflects the relevant people's relation of power. According to the Enforcement Decree of Act on Equal Employment and Support for Work-Family Reconciliation, Sexual harassment can be categorized into physical sexual harassment, such as suddenly hugging someone from behind or touching certain body parts, verbal sexual harassment, such as lewd jokes or sexual metaphors concerning one's appearance, or pressuring someone to pour a drink during office dinners, visual sexual harassment, such as displaying pornographic photographs or pictures, or purposefully exposing or touching certain body parts, and other sexual words and actions, which according to social norms, cause disgust or sexual humiliation. Sexual violence is any action in which one takes advantage of the difference in strength to infringe upon another's sexual self-determination against the other's will. The concept encompasses not only rape, but also molestation and sexual harassment. From the viewpoint of sexual violence, not only physical violence or threats that demand sexual relations, but also sexual advances or attempts, psychological abuse, and verbal insults also apply as sexual violence. The law regulates only genital-oriented crimes accompanied by violence or threats, such as rape or indecent assault, as sexual violence crimes. 
But such sexual violence crimes, according to the law and sexual violence, must be carefully distinguished. Sexual violence must be understood to widely include both psychological and physical violence, because the kind of sexual violence that most frequently takes place within the university is not sexual violence crimes, but sexual harassment. These regulations are based on the fundamental assumption that all students, faculty, and staff should treat each other with respect. This does not mean that interpersonal relations should be purely impersonal, distant, and formal. On the contrary, friendly and relaxed personal interaction also between women and men is and should be a normal part of everyday life at the university. Nevertheless, the regulation stipulates definitely that sexual harassment and discrimination are prohibited and will not be tolerated. So now, what shall we do if we feel sexually humiliated or offended with sexual charge behaviors? Maybe someone might think, like, should I just ignore it? Or am I too much sensitive or overreacting? Even someone could like think, think like, what should I do if I get disadvantages or whatever? But we should do first as follow, clearly state how I feel and demand to stop the action. And please discuss about it with the Center for Gender Equality. If a friend or person around you was the victim of sexual harassment, what would you do? From a third party position, when a friend, upper and underclassmate or a student has experienced the sexual harassment and is uh, troubled by it, Please first do support the victim psychologically, and second, do not try to solve the problem by yourself by excessive actions. And third, report it to or seek counsel from an on-campus professional counseling center. Korea University has an on-campus professional counseling center. We call it as the Center for Gender Equality, CGE. CGE seeks to maintain an atmosphere free of sexual and gender-based harassment and discrimination while providing active support to students, faculty, and staff. The center is also committed to creating an atmosphere of trust and respect that is essential to healthy work and academic environment. Here is our uh, activities what, oh, Here are our activities, what we normally do. We provide educational programs and activities, and we receive and process reports, and we provide supportive counseling services, and we do also collaboration with the other organizations, such as hospitals and law enforcement as well. The CGE is committed to responding promptly and effectively when it learns of any form of possible discrimination based on sex or, or sexual orientation, as well as gender identity. The CGE reports to, uh, responds to reports of sexual harassment, including sexual violence, as part of its effort to stop the harassment and prevent its recurrence of possible sex discrimination. An individual who has questions or concerns regarding possible discrimination based on sex should contact the CGE. All members of Korea University can visit the CGE to request information or advice, including whether con certain conduct may violate the policy, seek informal resolution, or file a formal complaint. If you are a foreigner, sometimes you may not be sure whether you have been sexually harassed or there has been just a simple misunderstanding due to cultural differences. In such case, too, support and counseling are always available at the Center for Gender Equality. In case we can give you direct help, then we could refer you right person and place. 
if you need more details of any questions about sexual and gender-based harassment or discrimination, please call or visit the Center for Gender Equality anytime. If you want to contact us by internet, <coughs> this is our website, but it's on Korean, not yet in English. But you can also visit our website and you know, write your stories, and then we could help you. Or we, you can also visit us too. You can contact us when you simply need, wait a minute. Okay, when you simply need information about the regulation, books, and questions related with gender. Or you can also visit us when you need counseling, have concerns, need help, dealing with after effects or whatever. And also you can contact us when you want to report a case, the complainant, him or herself, or third parties, and representatives as well. If you want to stop by our center, the center is in the red square. We are here at the uh, business school, is the LG Postco building, which is not so far. On this map, you see here number 52 here. We are here, but our center is located on the, in the red square building. It's not so far, actually, a little bit walk up the hill and the left side. So here is how you can contact us by phone and by email. The my email ID is helper, so it's easy to keep, and websites as well, and the location I told you already. Okay, I think I hope you have a great time here in Korea University, and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Ms. No, for a um, wonderful uh, presentation. From now on, I will cover the detailed information about the International Winter Camp through and through. Um, since you will be studying, networking, and living here in this campus from three to six weeks, let me introduce you briefly what Korean University is about. Korean University was founded in 1905. We are one of the oldest and most prestigious universities in Korea. Um, in Korea, there are top three schools called Sky Club, uh, which comprises Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University. Um, I bet some of you have already heard of um, this top league university in Korea. We've been rival for over decades, and this unique name of league somehow made us influencing each other in a more uh, progressive way. And KU, there are approximately 37,000 st students, including postgraduates. Uh, and it has been gradually recognized as a global university from 2002. About 40% of the entire courses at Korea University are taught in English, and over 6,000 students from all over the world come to KU from our partner schools. All right. Um, let's get down to the essence of our winter program. I have divided the rest of the winter program into two sections, academics and campus life. So first, academics. All right, um, Korea University International Winter Camp, KUIWC for short, is launching in 2016 here right now. Uh, in this starting year, we've received over 300 applications from 100 institutions all over the world. So we thank all of the applicants who have shown their interest and set the new world breaking numbers. Um, next. IWC offers one semester load of work condensed into three weeks. Up to 20 courses offerings will be delivered by our top class faculty. These courses are credit bearing and of course the academic credits per class will be transferred back to your home institutions. In addition, we won't let you guys bored and stuck in the dorm because we prepared diverse extracurricular activities, field trips, and online events you can actively participate. And uh, for this part, my colleague Alex and Veronica will elaborate on it during the welcome luncheon. So please uh, come and check that out later. All right. 
Next, uh, this is our uh, academic calendar. Um, please check for the left column, which is session one uh, schedule. Uh, classes for period one will begin after the, this or student orientation, and welcome luncheon will be preceded at 11.40. When the luncheon is over, those of you who have registered for the Korean language classes should be present at room 106 in this building for taking the level test. Uh, for those of you who have registered for the Taekwondo class, should be present at room 107 in this building. Uh, and please keep in mind course at or drop period ends on this Friday, December 30. And midterm, final exam, and date trip dates and places are subject to change. So please check your email and or ask um, our staffs uh, for any updates. Right. Next is class information. All the IWC courses will be held at this building called LG Postco. Remember that, All right? It is five times a week except for the one or two credit courses. And we have two separate periods, period one and pre period two. Of course, all the courses are mediated in English except for Korean language courses. Uh, four course time timetable is available on page seven or eight in your student guidebook, so please check on that. And um, also please make sure to be on time in your classes. Mm -hmm. um, except for the regular classes, there are two supporting centers in this building, one for student and one for faculty, located at the basement of this building. For the students, matter-wise, please visit Room 101 Student Supporting Center, and we'll take care of your inquiries uh, uh, from student assistance. Right? Next is textbook information. Um, IWC does not sell any textbook or course reader due to copyright, copyright laws in Korea. So we will help you to make a part of photocopies of textbook or course readers. Here are steps for making um, how to make photocopies. One, uh, come to this uh, student supporting center, room 101 at LG Postco building. Step two, fill out a photocopy slip as shown on the left picture. You'll see the name and uh, you don't have to write the phone number, but um, order dates and course code and the page for the textbook. And then step three, take the slip to the copy center called Copy Nara. Uh, located at the main library. Let me show you where's the main library. So um, this is LG Postco building where we are here. And right, uh, right front of this building, this is main library. So it's very, uh, very near to here. All right, All right internet. Um, uh, internet is all-in-one access for your both personal and class information. Um, to log in, you have to uh, have know our website address, winter.korea.ac.kr um, slash internet. And this is our first page, and you type in your ID, which is your application number, and your uh, uh, DOBS password. And you can modify your info uh, in the uh, login page. And simply internet is uh, making having uh, six menus on the bar. Application, you can check your application status here. On um, payment section, you can check your payment history fee. And for further assistance regarding the payment issue, please refer to um, your increase to KU Winter at korea.ac.kr. And on the course bar, you can check your course registration status here. And you may also download and print out your course syllabi. And on the grade, uh, and on the notice, a uh, professor will upload the course-related notice here, such as assignment, your essays, and so on. And survey, all IWC students are required to complete course survey in order to check their grades. That's uh, mandatory. And on the grade section, after you turn in your survey, you can see your grades on this menu. All right, very simple, right? And for add and drop, students are allowed to add or drop courses until December 30, 5 p.m. for session one classes. And you can change courses um, on online application. Visit our website to change your course list. Uh, you can see um, how to change uh, your course reader, uh, your course status on the um, on the view and change uh, section. Okay. 
plan for the refund um, uh, for the refund until this Friday, 80% will be refunded and no refund after the first week of each session is passed. So remember, application fee is non-refundable. If you want to refund first, contact us before the deadline to KU winner at korea.at.kr. Then fill out the refund form and submit it back to our office. And the refund processes will take about three to four weeks. And... This is our grading policy. Uh, it is based on absolute assessment, and attendance is very critical. At least 70% is required. Um, and here uh, in Korea University, when you get a D grade, it is counted as a passing grade. However, um, since this is not a universal grading system, your final letter grade can be changed when our final transcript is issued to your home institution. So please make sure to. Uh, contact your academic advisor to check on that, all right? Uh, also, 59 or below uh, will give you F grade, and it will not appear on your transcript. Hope that not happens <laughs> during our uh, program, all right? And, and the transcript, uh, this is a sample, and this will be issued and delivered starting from mid-February. If you need assistance for transcript matters, such as changing the mailing address for transcript, please ask us through the email. All right. All right. So <clears throat> now let me tell you some tips for your fun and convenient life in this campus. All right. First, Wi-Fi. Um, if this uh, uh, Wi-Fi is everywhere in this campus. Very simple steps. Once you tap your Wi-Fi settings, um, select the network titled Korea Univ AP. If you want to do it right now, you can do this. So, <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Did you find the settings? Okay, and find the Korea Univ AP. And next. Um, this is enter, uh, entering page. Username is 2016 KU Winter. And password is Winter 2016. And you're done for the free Wi Fi access. Have you made it? Yes? Okay. All right, I hope you made it already, so let me keep going. Uh, shuttle bus. If you stay at dorm, you can use our shuttle bus service from dorm to LG postcode during the IWC period. The buses run total four times a day. Please keep in mind this service can be canceled without prior notice in the event of un unexpected weather conditions. Um, and the buses will not op operate on January 18th due to the maintenance. Okay. Have you uh, ride a bus today? Anybody? How was it? Quite okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, <coughs> this is our uh, libraries and study area. Um, you can use KU libraries with your student ID card. Uh, like I said, uh, when you assign your um, student code of conduct and turn it in our student supporting center room 101, you will get the student ID card. And with that student ID card, um, you can access to any uh, KU libraries in here. The closest one is located in the second floor of this building called MB Lounge, and you can freely come and study here without the card access. So that's a tip. And uh, cafeteria near your dorm is open during the IWC period, and you can find detailed information on the student guide, page 16 also. Right? And, uh, <laughs> um, besides cafeteria, there are, lot, there are lots of decent restaurants around the campus. Um, each meal will cost you about less than $10 in USD, so it's not that expensive. Here I suggest you some famous ones. Uh, this is called Koke Koko and um, Japanese cuisine, very, very famous and very popular. Um, I don't know if you like donburi or sake don, but I like here. And um, Korean Star, which is a Korean snack restaurant, and this is also popular among uh, regular KU students. And also, um, 
uh, 50 Celsius for uh, dessert. So if you like bubble tea, you must try. This is very famous. All right. Um, okay. And um, there are lots of convenience stores around the campus as well. You can shop with your friends after the class hours. And um, for those who stay at the dorm, although uh, you've signed up already the residence hall contract once you checked in, please keep in mind these three main points. Keys, lost keys or key cards must be reported immediately to residence hall staff. There will be a monetary charge for getting a new key, all right? And alcohol use, the use of alcoholic beverages and smoking is prohibited inside the role. And no misgender visitation, only same gender can visit uh, your uh, floor. So male, female, male, female in that sense. And visitation hours are from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. So please keep in mind the time regulations. And last but not least, please keep in mind um, uh, smoking is uh, not allowed uh, and uh, is only allowed at designated smoking area. And please observe the classroom manners and re respect others. And uh, this is my personal advice that when you hang out and um, drink with your um, friends until late night, please make sure not to caught in hypothermia in this freezing cold weather. <laughs> Keep your body warm and drink a lot of water so you can stay he here healthy. And all right, so um, this is the end of the first part of the two-day ceremony. Uh, thank you everyone for your patience and cooperation. And please proceed to your class for period one starting from 10.30. Uh, we've got some time left, so, but we'll be uh, taking a group photo here, so we, we still got time. And I will see you again at 12 at the sixth floor of this building for the welcome luncheon. Please be on time. Um, and if you have your spare time before the luncheon and have further inquiries, please come and visit Student Supporting Center Room 101 in this building. And our student assistant will be happy to help you with it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>